The search for survivors began in daylight, but went on into the night. It was an operation carried out in difficult conditions. With it came the news that four people hadn't survived. They are 46-year-old Duncan Munro, 45-year-old Sarah Darnley, 59-year-old Gary McCrossan and 57-year-old George Allison. Those that were rescued from the water were taken to Shetland. Wearing yellow survival suits, these men were brought ashore, some more injured than others. One of the survivors spoke to their mother from hospital. He said it, it, it seemed to lose power and um, th there was no time to brace. They just, just dropped into the sea. And he was by the window, so he was able to um, escape that way as it rolled over. The helicopter was operated by the company CHC. It took off from the Borgston Dolphin oil platform in the North Sea. It was en route to an airport in the Shetland Islands, but crashed around two miles off the coast. We have deployed a significant number of officers with specialist skills from across Police Scotland to assist with the operation and will continue to do so. Police Scotland will now be carrying out an investigation to establish the circumstances in due course. CHC says it will carry out a full investigation and that as of now it's temporarily suspending all of its Super Puma L2 flights. This is the fourth incident involving a Super Puma helicopter in as many years. In the past there have been problems with its main gearbox. In 2009, 16 people died after a crash near Peterhead. In 2012, 14 people had to be rescued when a newer model ditched off the coast of Aberdeen. And in October last year, 19 people were pulled from the water when the same model plunged into the North Sea. The cause of this incident will now be examined by the Department of Transport's Air Accidents Team. Hint Hassan, Sky News.